Welcome back to another Painted by Fame. Drink this face in because it's only temporary. Let's get started. So I've previously applied a latex bald cap. This is going to give me that alien-esque finish that I'm aiming for. After seaming the edge with acetone, I'm applying a loose powder with a puff to mattify the surface. Brush away any excess powder. Thank God for good friends, and especially the ones that have your back, or at least the back of your head. Wendy here is using the Airbrush System by Ket. I love this finish. To prime my lids, I'm using Soft Ochre by MAC Cosmetics. In creating a new socket line, I'm using L'Oreal Color Rich in Cobalt. Overlaid with MAC Cosmetics Lip Pencil and Magenta. Mirror on opposite side. I'm using a Makeup Forever blending brush to soften the socket line. Using the Cosette blending brushes in combination with the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm securing the socket line with coordinating colors. I've decided to set the brow bone using Makeup Forever's Shadow in Chalk. Using the L'Oreal pencil in Cobalt, I'm defining my lash line and connecting the tail to the socket line. Diffuse the lash line using the previous socket brush, which is a great base for shadow. Secure the shape using a Cosette brush in S175 with Urban Decay's Shadow and Chaos. Define along the lash line using a Cosette brush in D230. I've decided to use Makeup Forever's Aquamatic Glide On Eye Shadow in Iridescent Lime Green as a base. Once you've filled in the socket line with the desired tone, overlay with a glitter of your choice. When applying over the top of this specific product, I like to do one eye at a time, as it dries relatively quickly, but it is waterproof and it has a long last. Redefine the socket line using existing pigment on a flat brush. With today's foundation application, I've decided to mix two tones of Krylon TV paint stick, my usual color in 4W and 00, which is a very fair yellow undertone foundation. I thought it would really give a freshness and an intensity to the pigments that I will soon overlay. Using the Beauty Blender Damp, I'm merging both these tones together to create a flawless finish. Blend right past the jawline and into the neck. Now I'm highlighting the face using the TV paint stick in 00 by itself, and I'm using my ring finger, which is the gentlest finger on your hand, especially around the under eye, which is the most sensitive skin on your face. To incorporate the alien-esque tones to my face, I'm contouring with a custom blend of Makeup Forever Flash Palette Continue to blend the contours using the Beauty Blender. Using the Cosette foundation brush, I'm using turquoise from the flash palette for the hollows of my cheeks as well as my nose contour. 
To narrow my nose, I'm using a more defined paintbrush by Cosette. I like to detail my nose by contouring the outer corner of my nostrils. This gives a more petite proportion for my face. To minimize my jawline, I'm using Bright Blue by Makeup Forever using the same foundation brush as previous. Blend along these contours for a more seamless finish in the foundation application. When I contour my nose, I like to flatten my beauty blender so that I can really get in there without expanding that color into the cheekbone. If you ever have an issue where the color starts to look a bit muddy, just go in with your highlight tone and define along the cheekbones or around the bridge of the nose or mouth and then you can resharpen those tones. To secure the highlights of my face, I'm using Ben Nye's Translucent Face Powder and a Circular Puff. Using a large, clean, fluffy brush, I'm setting my contours with Makeup Forever's HD Powder. I then use this large brush to dust away excess powder on top of the highlights. Using a powder brush by Cosette, I'm setting the contours with Il Maquillage Shadow in Fuchsia. Using the same brush, I'm using Il Maquillage Shadow in Tokyo Sunrise to blend out that last tone. Set your contours using Il Maquillage Shadow in Peacock Blue using Max Contour Brush. To add depth to my cheeks, I'm using Byzantine Green by Il Maquillage. To amplify and connect the tones of the face, I've chosen an Il Maquillage Shadow in Lemon using a MAC Contour Brush. I'm just noticing that my forehead looks like a Hawaiian sunrise. Isn't that pretty? Now to re-establish the contour of the nose, I'm pulling in those same colors using several brushes to give me the ultimate definition. To define all of the contours for my temples, cheekbone, and jawline, I'm taking Ket Cosmetics Hydro Color Theory in blue to push them even further. And I'm amplifying the tones using Inglot's Pure Pigment. To define the bottom lash line, I'm using the same liners, brushes, and shadows to mirror the socket line. First, curl your lashes. This will support the false lashes we'll place secondary. Then coat them with a good mascara of your choice. For my brows, I've decided to use a cake liner as well as a flat angle brush to get a quick and dramatic effect.
So I'm going to do a three-dimensional lip using several products. First, define and base your lip using L'Oreal's Colorish and Cobalt. Second, highlight the center using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and White. Then, contour using MAC Eye Pencil and Feline. For the photographed images, I did layer a clear gloss over the top of the lip, but during this filming of the tutorial, I chose not to. This is of course optional. I hope you enjoy this transformation into the Cosmic Queen. I pulled every trick out of the book, but I'm really happy with the end result. Uh, remember, take something from this. You don't have to do the full face, but you can personalize it and make it your own. Thank you for following. Oh, my God.